name is Alex and today I'm going to be walking you through how to uninstall the Papercut client from a Mac computer. In most cases, uh, this process is going to be as simple as opening up a Finder window, navigating to the Applications folder, and scrolling until you find the paper, or PC Client app. Uh, now what you can do here is just select the PC Client app, right click, and then click Move to Trash. And in most cases, this will move the client application directly to the trash, but you may encounter an error message that we have to get around, as shown here. Uh, so if you see this, it means that the paper cut client is still running and we'll need to close it before we're able to delete the application. So go ahead and click OK there. To stop the application from running, you're going to want to go up to the top taskbar where you'll see this little P icon. Uh, if you right click that icon, you should see an option to exit. Um, in most cases, when you click exit, uh, the application will quit, uh, but you may encounter a message saying that the application cannot be closed. Uh, if you see this message, it means that your administrator has uh, configured a policy that prevents the application from closing. Uh, we can still manually close it, we just have to do a little bit more of a manual process. Uh, if you do not see this message and the application closes without restarting, you can go ahead and uh, right click PC Client App and move to trash and the install is done. Uh, but if you do encounter this message, uh, keep watching because we'll go over how to resolve that. Um, so click OK here. Go ahead and open up the activity monitor. And then search for just client will be fine. Uh, you should see the user client running here. Uh, so select the client and then stop the process. Just quit. And that should close the paper cl client out manually. Um, this would resolve the problem for the majority of cases and then you can uninstall the app. Um, but there is a third configuration that you may encounter uh, where the paper cut client automatically starts up again after we've canceled. Uh, if you see that, uh, it indicates that you're likely configured uh, to launch the paper cut client via launch D. Uh, so we'll need to turn that off in order for us to actually complete the process. So if you see a paper cut window come up uh, automatically after quitting, uh, it's a good indicator that uh, your paper cut client is configured to launch via launch D. Uh, launch D is basically a process that runs in the background where every time the user client stops running, it automatically gets restarted. Uh, so in order for us to turn that off, we'll need to open up a terminal window. And then we'll want to uh, navigate to the uh, launch agents folder, which is CD library, if I can type, and then launch agents. And then the command to stop the application is launch ctl unload com papercut client plist. So that stops the service that uh, is running that automatically starts paper cut. Uh, I'm sure you saw when I ran that command, uh, the client went away. Um, so we should be able to uninstall the application now. Uh, it stopped running and we prevented it from auto starting. Um, so I should be able to go back to the applications folder, right click and move to trash. Done. I should also mention here that uh, just unloading the plist file does not actually remove that file. Uh, so just to make sure everything's clear, I would also recommend uh, removing the plist uh, to prevent launch D from starting the client automatically. Uh, the command for that is found in the knowledge base article, but it's sudo rm and then library launch agents uh, and then type the name of the file, which is com papercut client plist. There we go. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any problems or uh, have any other questions about the process, uh, please feel free to reach out to us at uh, support.papercut.com. We're always happy to assist. Thanks.